Hi. Now in this example we've got to prove that sine theta over 1 plus cos theta plus 1 plus cos theta over sine theta is identical to 2 cosec theta. So how are we going to do this one? Well again in the usual way just put down proof and select which side you think is the most complicated. Well I would have thought clearly the left hand side in this example is the most complex side and so I'm going to take this because we've got a couple of terms here and we've got to show that it's identical to one term so it seems to make sense to do it from that kind of viewpoint. So we've got sine theta then over 1 plus cos theta plus 1 plus cos theta over sine theta. Okay so what's this identical to? Well, we've got to create one term here. And as soon as I see that, and we've got a couple of terms here, I know that we've got to try and put this over a common denominator. So that's what I'm going to do first of all. One long line. What's that lowest common multiple going to be of these two functions, 1 plus cos theta and sine theta? Well, it's going to be those two multiplied together. I'm going to put the sine theta first, though. Sine theta multiplied by 1 plus cos theta. All right. So what do we put on the top here? Well for this fraction you can see that if I was to multiply the bottom by sine theta I would get this denominator here so I need to multiply the top of the fraction by sine theta. So we get sine theta times sine theta which is really sine squared theta. Now we come on to the next term here and on the bottom here I'm multiplying from sine theta to get this I'm multiplying by 1 plus cos theta. So if I multiply the bottom by 1 plus cos theta I must multiply the top of the fraction also by 1 plus cos theta. So you'll notice we've already got a 1 plus cos theta there anyway so we've got to multiply it by another 1 plus cos theta so we're going to have that as being squared. Now I need to expand the top here and to do that we've got sine squared theta being multiplied by 1 plus cos theta times another 1 plus cos theta. And if I expand that I'm going to get the first term squared which is 1 times 1 is 1. Then I'm going to get a cos theta and another cos theta so that's going to be plus 2 cos theta. And then I square the last term plus cos squared theta. If you're not sure about that, just write two brackets down on a scrap of paper, 1 plus cos theta times 1 plus cos theta. When you expand it, you should get that. Okay? And then that's all over. Don't multiply the bottom out because it's already one term consisting of two factors, which is going to be very useful to us. One factor is sine theta and the other factor is 1 plus cos theta. But on the top here, we've got several terms. So we need to tidy this up. Now you should know, I'll circle it here, you should know that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta, well that comes to 1. And so we've got 1 here plus this one is going to give us 2. So we've got 2 plus 2 cos theta. And then that's going to be over sine theta bracket 1 plus cos theta. Now on the top we've got two terms. We can create one term now by pulling out a common factor of 2. If we do that we've got 2 bracket 1 plus cos theta and now we're over sine theta bracket 1 plus cos theta. We have one term on the top made up of two factors, the 2 and the 1 plus cos theta. We have one term on the bottom made up of sine theta and 1 plus cos theta. So we can cancel out the 1 plus cos theta as a common factor. So what does that leave us with? Well it leaves us with 2 over sine theta and when you've got anything, well I say anything, this is the same as 2 times 1 over sine theta and 1 over sine theta 
is the same as cosec theta. So you've got 2 times cosec theta or simply 2 cosec theta. Alright, and that has proved what we needed to do.